the PCI Express came out after the AGP. So here's how it goes in the timeline. PCI, then AGP came out, then the PCI Express came out. And those are get faster and faster as we go along. So now talking about the PCI Express, these are the cards I would recommend getting. But again, just because they wanted to make things real confusing for you, they give you a bunch of PCI Express options. The first is the regular PCI Express or PCI Express times one, you might see it as when you're buying a car. This is the old um, PCI, and although it's uh, up, it's about two, two and a half times faster than an AGP, I would not recommend getting a PCI Express regular because there are better options out there. Now, uh, another thing I want to take note of before I finish going over the rest of your PCI Expresses, your motherboard is going to support AGP or PCI Express. It's not going to support both of them. So when you choose a motherboard, make sure you get one that says PCI Express with the interface you want. Now again, I told you I wouldn't recommend getting PCI Express because there are better options out there. And those better options are PCI Express times 16, which is even faster than PCI Express. And the top of the line right now is called PCI Express 2.0 times 16. I know it's real confusing between PCI Express x16 and PCI Express 2.0 times 16 but PCI Express 2.0 times 16 delivers even more power than anything else. So that's what you want to stick to when buying a video card. And it's not that expensive um, compared to the other ones and you're going to be, it's going to be compatible for a long time. It's the newest video card out there. So again you want PCI Express 2.0 times 16. This is the fastest video card. It's not that expensive out there right now, so get it. Now, once you get that, make sure that your motherboard supports PCI Express 2.0 times 16. Make sure it has those slots in it, and then you're going to be able to put your video card in. Now that we got your video card and made sure it's compatible with your motherboard, it's going to work no matter what. But you just don't want to go out buying any PCI Express 2.0 times 16 motherboard. Here are a couple things, or sorry, video card. Here are a couple things you want to look for when buying a video card. 